what is up everyone welcome to the channel my name is video games and i'm excited to say that we are continuing our apocalyptic run with telltales the walking dead and whew, i'm nervous because it's been a while since i've played a choice driven game on the channel and um i don't know i just get really attached to characters i have a great track record with, with that so I think I'm just going to be really stressed and probably going to end up very heartbroken. So can't wait for that. <laughs> if you're curious about my relation with The Walking Dead, really, I've only ever watched the AMC The Walking Dead TV show. But I stopped a long time ago. We could probably guess when I stopped watching. And I remember enjoying it. So I think I'll enjoy this just as much as well. But I'm not going to take too much of your guys' time. We're going to go ahead and get started. So, season select. Of course, we're going to start with season one. How it all started as the world ends. Lee Everett looks for a redemption and fights to protect the young Clementine. Oh, it's another father and daughter situation, it seems. Which... I just got done with The Last of Us, and that was already tough for me. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, we'll do standard. That sounds great. Episode one, a new day. Bring it on. Give it to me. Mm-hmm. This game series adapts to the choices that I make. Okay, we're in a cop car, love to see it. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Oh, what? Why is my controller not connected? Does it really matter? <laughs> nah, not much. There we go. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. I mean, what do you say? And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Well, I guess, like, what else are you going to say? <laughs> I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Um, you're from Macon? You're from Macon, then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. Oh. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Murder? Yeah. The whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. What did we do? Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. Damn. You meet your wife in Athens? You oh. want to know how I see it? <laughs> Do I have a choice? <laughs> I got much choice. Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Ooh. I don't even know. That's... 
I didn't know what to say to that. Stop worrying about things you can't control. This is like a very awkward car ride. <laughs> I don't know what to make of it. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Well, maybe he was innocent, or he's maybe just... Maybe he was innocent. Maybe he's just innocent. mad he got caught. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing oh, his wife, okay. cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Ew. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. That tends to happen. People believe their own lies. Show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Yeah, absolutely. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less Sir, there's someone on the road. There's the so. fucking drive. This other time. <laughs> Oh my god! We just got ragdolled in that car! Okay, anyway. That's a little rough. Oh, great. Oh, you gotta wake up, bro! Get up! Fight it! Well, I, I, at least I guess we're safe in the car. And if he passed out, he wasn't making any noise. <laughs> so there's that. Shit. Thirsty. Ah. Fuck. Ooh. Leg. No wait. No, stop that. <laughs> Why the hell did he have his gun out? Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Okay. So there's a gun. There's a shotgun. Uh, uh, Break that glass! Uh, uh, hey, we gotta be quick. I know somebody I heard that. Drag myself out that window. Okay, so how do I drag myself? Oh, I could just move. Move forward. I need to oh, sorry. drag myself out that window. All right, there we go. Damn, that's a far drop to tumble. Ew! Damn, that's bad. All right, we got this. Totally got this. Should we grab the gun? I mean, I would. I would. And I see a... Ooh! Looks empty. Don't worry, because I just saw something. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. All right, fine. Can we at least carry the shotgun shell? <laughs> Okay, I'm so sorry to keep making you bend over, but I think that could be handy, just in case if this dude comes alive. Officer? <laughs> Officer? Are you alive? I know you kind of look broken, but I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> All right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, there's no way he's not going to come alive. Are you kidding? Okay, I got this. I can do this. I can do this. Shit. Right by his mouth? <laughs> oh my god, be quick, be quick! Oh, okay. Alright, we got this. Oh my god, please, hurry. Hurry. Oh. Oh my god! 
God, no! Uh, uh, holy shit! What in the hell? Get the gun, get the gun! Get away from me! See? Good thing we grab- Oh, Lee! Oh... Oh, that's gross. Interesting. Ah! Ew. Ah! Oh. Bro, you better run. We gotta go. Hello? Anybody? Um... Oh, okay, well, I guess we can go here. I wonder if anybody's home. Could check. Treehouse. Anybody up there? No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. Looks yeah. like the way it is. All right. Help! Before I continue, I'm turning down the game volume because it's been really loud, and I hope it's not too loud for you guys, but it's been blasting my ears. Let's go into the house. Um... Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Well, just go in, I guess. Okay. Oh, I thought I was Coming locked. In. Don't shoot, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. So the house isn't even locked. It wasn't barricade or anything. No barricades. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Well, I guess this is all just unfolding. These people might need more help than I do. That makes sense, because... We didn't even know about walkers until right now. So they could have just up and left. Right now. Pool of blood. Oh, Ew, handprints. They look kind of small. <gasps> oh, shit! <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, there's like footsteps there. A whole lot of things. Oh, damn, there you go. Oh, there's a walkie. Interesting. This place has been ransacked. 
Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Oh, well, how are you gonna be able to see what's in there? If the, you don't close the top drawer. <laughs> Marshals. That's a Savannah area code. But hmm. that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Well, that's some good observing. Did that. There's a phone. I did hear it beep. Three new messages. Message one. Left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Damn, what? Daddy? Huh? Oh, no. Hello? You need to be quiet. Okay. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Oh, Hi, shit. Clementine. I'm Lee. There we go. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. Oh. That's smart. There you go. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, he slipped on it again for the second time. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, she's brave. Oh, she's brave. Whoa. Oh god. Oh, she's shaking. Are we done? We're done. We don't we don't need to do it again. Let's not do that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Oh, in front of the kid. Hi there. Oh Did God. you kill it? Oh. <gasps> mm. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I bet. They're I so strong. Think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? 
Um. So look for help before it gets dark, or get out of here once the sun. No, we should. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's oh go. my god! Stay close to she me. He grabs his hand already. <gasps> Dude. This is actually really interesting because I thought they were already like father and daughter, but they actually do not know each other. So this is going to be a very interesting way to create a really good relationship connection that is <sighs> gonna get me attached. I just know this. So let's go through the gate. Oh man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Alright, guys, I, I'm gonna have to say that our lives kind of matter a little bit more than that. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Oh my god. I will leave you alone. No, you can't. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Well, <laughs> we're looking for we help. Need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because yeah. Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm mm. Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. Aww. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... A neighbor. a neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's not make it weird. Listen, Let's get we'll uh... Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Okay. Go. Well... Oh no. Oh, Clementine is helping! <laughs> That's so cute! Ooh! Were any of those guys neighbors too? I mean, either that or... They didn't live that far if they're all huddled up in here. <laughs> That's my guess. Damn. Well, it's kind of dark now. How far away are we? Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. That was like the most casual thing, as if there are not weird Thank God you're okay. infected. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Zombies. Been quiet as usual <laughs> the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Um. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. 
So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. At least they're checking on her. Like, hey, do you know him? For real. Let us know now. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. Well. Um. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Ooh. How'd this happen? Um, here we go. Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Out of Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about on the road. Who are you with? The girl. A police officer. I was with a police officer. I'll be honest. He's giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. <laughs> House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. Okay. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what um. you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Yeah, you need to... Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this uh -huh. place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. You would think. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Um, dead people walking. Got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it, really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Nice. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. Ooh, which I hope what doesn't happen. Do We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> Clementine's reaction. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Jeez. Okay, that'd be preferable. You can't joke like There's that. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. Okay, so, well, at least we're in a safe place. We got somewhere to sleep. It smells like... Poop. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> oh, she's the cutest thing. I can't. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I love you, baby. <laughs> Damn. So obviously hey, he murdered someone. <sighs> it's kind of crazy. What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. <laughs> He seems they excited about going. that. We won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. 
Duck? Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Um, sure, we'll tag along. Sure, we'll tag along. It's Why a plan, not? Then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. <laughs> you can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Well, at least it's excited to work. I and your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay. Hey there, girls. What do you do? How is the city? You two actually look relaxed. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some just Ooh. just it's okay it's fine you don't have to say anymore i want to go home tomorrow but even then i can't take away the things we the things doc went through don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this don't we all who wouldn't anybody in their right mind would families and barbecues and beers with good friends all of those things those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? So, uh, what do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. <laughs> what is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> She's smart. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? I mean, the Back birds say bit. it all. Okay, Lee. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, we could probably check with... Kenny. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. I mean, she looks nice. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your plan? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Yeah, um... I feel like anyone with a boat would go straight to that. Help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I'm okay. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. That's true. I'll keep that in mind. Scary to think about. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. Ooh. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. 
We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. Uh, we're a tough family, Lee. Dang, so us. they're already traveling See and... You. That's the thing is like, imagine not even being home and you were traveling either by car or plane, whatever it may be, and this is just breaking out. It's like you don't even know until it's too late. Hey, That's scary. Do you need a hand? This is you the most heard? important thing. That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Okay. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Oh, damn. Was the boy one of the walkers? That's the first Was thing the I thought. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. Oh, shit. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Um... I had to shoot one? I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. I get it to How an extent. Yours? How's your family? I'm not too close. I don't know where my ex-wife is. My parents are in Macon. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. You can That's only hope. All I need cut for now. Thanks. Okay, I was gonna keep going because the more the merrier, but. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Damn. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. You are too nice. All right. Um. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. That's so funny. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Okay, that's really funny. Um, well, you guys have fun. Oh, the camera angles are really getting me. Why are we awkwardly you staring? Get out of Atlanta? I got a, I got I a got ride. A ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me twenty years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Of course. Was brought up to? Yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? These are a lot of questions. Um, just keep my to Macon. My Macon was my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Um, I was getting attacked. I was looking for help in her house. Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Which is true. We're not lying. Hmm. Oh, Can he's... Can give you a piece of advice? Okay. What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. I've been back. Oh. Go! I'll get my gun. Oh shit! Oh my god. 
Oh my god. I'd save the kid, I guess. Oh my god, I don't know what to do! I got you! You're almost through! Now go! Get this tractor off of me! Please! Help me! Please! Woo! And you didn't want to fortify your fence. And now your son died. Is this all real to you now? Oh, he's about to kick us out. Get out. Rightfully so. We will leave. Respectfully. Get we the fuck mm -hmm. out of here. Yeah, we should leave. I'm sorry. I don't even sorry. blame you. Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. Yeah, I was trying, but you think I could do two things at once? I panicked. Remember that next time you panic. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Um... Got that ride to make it if you want it. I mean, what other choice do we have? You know, we'll take it. Damn, duck! What did you do? How'd you even run him over? All he had to do was sit there. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Well, we got somewhere. Look! Hey there, you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Oh, fuck. oh my god! We're Why were they all hiding? No, no. Oh! Oh shit! Run. Ooh, she's a badass! Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids. We have kids with Come us. on. I see one little girl. There's a little boy. What is it? I I have to pee. Oh. I go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. I'm sorry, girl, but just hold got it. Kids, Lily. For one Those second. Those outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. Oh. God damn it, Lily! You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. Mm. We're in a war zone. I get it, She's though. Not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, they did. did. But thank you. Now let's settle down. Holy shit! Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. Go check for we yourself. Have to end this. He now, really isn't. He's just dirty. Over my dead body. They shot a we'll walker over him. Hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Can Damn. Stop him? Hey, what do we do huh. about this guy? I don't know, but dad, that's a little. It's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. 
We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily! And you, shut the fuck up. Jesus! They will find us, and they will get in here. Why are you and the worst? Will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! No, he... That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? Just what the fuck? <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Oh my god. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is mm. sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Um... No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come Ooh. on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Damn. <laughs> oh, he's fallen again. <laughs> Why are we always falling? Oh, my God. Oh, this is hard. Oh. God, she's been okay? saving us left and right. Just great, thanks. These past five minutes. <laughs> she's awesome. Uh, guys. Um, that's the thing about bullets. Bullets are loud. Is that the military? Oh. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Shut up. Uh, uh, uh. Damn. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy Ooh. since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Um, through the office? There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Okay. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back. So I By yourself? You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. 
You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. After everything that happened, we're actually nice enough to help him. Would you look at that? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Um, it's kind of sad. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. So we can't go through there. Did Clementine even get to use the bathroom? I feel kind of bad. Oh, hey. Is there anything else near here? The pills are in there. Mm-hmm. There's little snacks. I'm kind of scared to talk to her. I feel like she's going to yell at me. It's actually food. Oh, we could give it to people. Clementine is going to be the first one I feed. Because we have to take care of her. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I took care of Clementine. Hey there. Hi. Can I get Can you anything? I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Well, still I just gave hungry. you a. Yeah. It oh, wasn't she still much. is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll see if I can find I'm so sorry. Oh, Glenn. Word from Glenn. Why did I Nothing. not put two and two is together? He okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. That was Glenn. So, um, Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm good. Oh my god, that's so that's good. That's cute. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good, <laughs> despite the circumstances. Yep. Oh, we got, we gotta well, sit tight. work on talking okay. to each other a little bit better. Anyway, I think it's so interesting. There's a lot of different characters in here, obviously, but we have Herschel and Glenn, which were in the TV show. I remember. So that's really interesting. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three ah. days out from her last cup of coffee. She's a reporter. Damn. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Nothing. What is this? Oh, antenna. Cute. That didn't really do anything. Well, there's no the batteries. batteries <laughs> what now? Why didn't you check that? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, you? of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Girl. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Probably double A? <laughs> I don't know. Okay then, um... Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Well, hold on, I'll wait. Uh, not right now. Alright. Let me know if you want to. Okay. Definitely, but let me just look at everything in here. The IT guy. The IT IT guy. Did we talk about everything hey, with her? Oh. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. Damn. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Stop. She was an asshole, but you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling yeah. our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are going to be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. Ah! In parents basement sort of way. Oh. Okay. Huh? huh? Uh nothing. She got a type? <laughs> um what are you hiding there, Carly? <laughs> we drove up to cover the cherry blossom festival. Real hard hitting stuff. So yeah. So I'm guessing get back to Yeah. That's yep. scary. 
news reporters having to film during oh we got another one during um catastrophes like this it's terrifying how's he doing i'm not sure i got your name it's lee lily my dad's larry Mm hmm you said that earlier, but it's fine. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. You're right. Uh, thanks for owning up to it. You're from You're here? from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Oh. Uh, pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Um, why? Or was anyone here when you guys got the pharmacy? What do you think about all of this? What's wrong with him? Uh, was anyone here? Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh... We were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. <gasps> oh. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Um, what do you think about all what of this? Do you think about all this. What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Damn. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. I'm... I don't really know if I want to say that. I don't want to get her mad. But I'll say it anyway. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Um. Let's be civil. Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. I mean, I guess technically we all do, so. Where's her mom? Man, good Savannah, question. I think. Oh. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. She's actually really nice. When she wants to be. Happen to Ducky. I know, hon. We gotta much, but here, give kids food. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Give him some food. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. Um, I mean... We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank, Thank you. you, Lee. What's the plan? Are you guys alright? How's Duck doing? How's Duck doing? He's okay. Probably He's traumatized. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Um, she's good. Let's she's just good. say that. We don't need to get she's into it. She's a tough it. one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. But she's tough. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Yeah, I don't think we can. They, uh, own this place. They, uh, Pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. 
Lee, you got a second? Sure. Lee's handling this very well, though. Back on Herschel's farm. Cause my god. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened really fast. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Yeah, that's what sucks. It's like, it did happen really fast. That's the problem. And if I had a choice to be able to save both of them, I really would have. But it just took too much time to even get Duck off of the tractor. And it would have felt wrong not to save a kid first. I don't know. It's messed up. It's messed up either way. We're sleeping in here. Holy crap. That store leads to the back alley. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Well, I guess no one else really needs it now either. sad that's so sad you have to keep it right oh find anything oh damn girl why are you creeping up on me like that Track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. True. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. Um, I hear you. yeah, right. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? Let's be How real. Can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. And I still can't over how she came in here so silently. <laughs> what? Okay. Um Do we need to move this, probably? Oh, his cane. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with him. <laughs> his cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. There you go. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. That's so sweet. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Man. 
Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Oh. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Damn, everyone's been asking me that. Um. Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. <laughs> I'm not crazy about it either. That's yeah, I All actually right, feel that. <laughs> I've tried to play soccer before in my life, it didn't go well. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? Yeah. <laughs> Kids are so like they just have no filter. Um I hope not, it's just complicated. No, no, it's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I got in some trouble. Let's be honest. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Let's get this done. Yeah, she doesn't need to know exactly what happened, but... Oh! Oh, damn, there's a lot of blood. It hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? Yeah, a little. It was, like, gushing out. I'll find you a bandage. Good thing there's a first aid kit that we found earlier. Thankfully, it's not empty. Let's have a look at that finger. Oh. Oof. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. She's the cutest thing ever. Oh, gosh. I love her already. Okay. Is there anything in this drawer? Lee? Oh. Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. But we should keep a lookout. Yeah. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. True. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. Remote. It's locked. We <laughs> need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. You're right. Is there something? Cause we have the remote. It's probably not gonna turn on. Oh. That's what I figured. It turns on, but that's about it. All right, Clem. Is there anything else? How's your finger? Have you heard from Glenn? Everyone seem okay to you? Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. <laughs> yeah. He's a little we'll scary. Keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? <laughs> oh, of course. I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Um, how's your finger? How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. All right. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. I really don't think we missed anything. I want to say we didn't. We checked that. We did the TV. We checked the bed. Can we do anything with the cane? Or is that the door? I think that's for the door. So we should just go. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? 
you're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. It's definitely complicated. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Oh, snap. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? No. This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on oh, me. Oh, shoot. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's <laughs> trapped down at the motor inn. We gotta save him! Hey, Glenn, we always we'll had to save Glenn. To the group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. <laughs> you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Nice. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. Okay. Use a jog. Pretty cool. I guess we should just go with Carly. I mean, we've checked everything we needed to check. I think. I don't want to say we did. So... Oh, we didn't get our batteries! Oh, wait a minute. How do we... Where should I look? Oh, man, there's more pictures. Okay, good thing I didn't leave yet. There's actually more stuff. <laughs> okay, that's really sad. Where's this? What? Oh, okay, we did find a battery. Ugh. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I also just want to say, what are the freaking odds that we actually end up at the drugstore his family owns? Because that's crazy. I was thinking about that earlier. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. You're welcome. Why do you seem sad about it? I helped you. <laughs> Try it Still out. For batteries for that day. No, we Thanks. did. I appreciate it. I found it. I, I found it. Hey there. Anyway. Did hold on, wait. I did we not find a battery? For the radio? I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. I don't mention it. Confused. Just remember what I said. Yeah. I will. Is that about what? Because we've been talking a lot. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> there might have to be when this is all over. Try Let's to get be some real. Rest done. How can I with those things out there? Oh. I don't remember them very well. All right, let's just go ahead and after this, I haven't looked at this. <laughs> True. Definitely not good for us to eat. Should I? I have two more bars. Like, I feel like I don't know who to give it to. I gave one to Clem. I gave one to Duck. I could give one to her. I mean, she is going through it, although you guys are kind of mean people. It's not much, but here. But we killed them you with sure? kindness. Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Okay, is it mean if I give something to Cat, the mom, but not Ken, the dad? <laughs> Can I give something to her? Oh, we can't. Okay. Well, that rules out that question. Oh, we could give it to Carly. Sure. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. 
You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Thanks. All right, let's go, because you don't want to mess with the radio, even though I gave you batteries. <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong. Let's go. You ready to head out? You got it. You? I guess. Yeah. I let's mean, go. we can't be here all day. Glenn needs us. Get down. Well, at least he's missing an eye. <laughs> did you see that? I sure did. Oh, he's in there. I think. I hope. Okay, good. Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. That wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No mm. way. We gotta go now. Yikes. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving well. her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> See, we are good people. Okay, we're getting the overview. So now we gotta plan this really well, which okay. I'm great at. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. Mm. So we have to kill every one of them in here quietly. Whoa, girl. Tracks mm. these things. Now let's have a look around. Oh man, she's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. Okay, so... We could probably go this way? That was a long way to crawl over. It's kind of scary. Well, can we can't look? Oh, we gotta get closer. <gasps> Ooh, yes. What if it's too loud? What if I mess up? I mean, do we think it'd be okay? It's giving me the option to do it. So I might try. You only live once. Ow. Ooh. Hey, man. <laughs> that drew some attention. Be careful. Ooh, we gotta get it open. Okay, so clearly we can't do that. Peek this way. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fella lurking near the front. Right. We gotta get the screwdriver out of the car. That's the problem. No, hold on, no. I'm trying to talk to Glenn. Okay. What if I try to break it again? I'm done trying to punch out window. Fine. They're not looking. She's distracted. All right. Oh God. Very cool. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Is there something laying around maybe? that I can grab to like try and break the glass in the car because I feel like if we have that screwdriver we can definitely do a lot more problem solving a pillow I didn't even see that good luck smothering them to death 
Well, hold on. That's not really what I have in mind. <laughs> All right, hold on. I got it. Okay, I'm getting it. Can't believe I didn't see that pillow. <laughs> Try to use a pillow on the window. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? <laughs> not without tools, or making a bunch of noise. That's so funny. And none with pillows. Man, how could you not? Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Okay. That was sick. <laughs> That's totally not how it works, but I'm glad it worked in our case. <laughs> Yay. So he said we could do something with the car. Oh, we could push it. Okay, well, is there anything in here, though? Ooh, a spark plug. Cool. Is that for gear shift? Okay. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. All right. I mean, if you say so. Do we need to? Uh, I'm scared because I feel like we should not push the car yet because the other there's a bunch of other walkers that are gonna see me if I push the car. Here, maybe we could. There we go. Wait. What? Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Cool. Nice. That's pretty interesting. Ooh. That was kind of loud. Oh, she is a hot mess in there. We gotta get her for real. She's an Ethan. Oh. <laughs> That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay. Okay. So when I'm thinking, could go back this way. I'm still not worried about the walker that's eating whoever that used to be. I could probably kill the walker over here. Oh damn! I didn't think you were gonna whistle at him. Ooh. What? Oh no! Lee, get him. Man, I was wrong. Nice. nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Okay, are we good? Okay, we're good. <laughs> I thought I messed up bad. All right, now we can push this car, right? Not too shabby. Awesome. <laughs> We're not here. We're not here at all. Um, okay, we want to try and kill him first. Ew, that was brutal. Dude, where'd your weapon go? <laughs> Dude! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? We got an upgrade. Oh yeah. That should help. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. We got this. Do we want to go up this way probably? I mean, it's the closest. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Thanks. I'm a little nervous. Okay, so... I don't know, do you just go for it? I mean, I guess. Although one of them is gonna notice me if my axe gets stuck in one of their heads. What? Hello? 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 Okay. Okay. 
Oh, damn. Rad. 100% beheaded him. Okay. I got worried because the axe icons weren't coming up at first and <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. I don't know. She seems pretty distressed and like she doesn't want that, but we'll do it. Oh, oh stop, shit. Just stop. I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh god. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. Oh. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. A Glenn! I don't want that. <laughs> it's not Christian. Please. Oh my just God. leave me. Please go. What if you turn and come after us? Uh, come with us. We will find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. I would. It's what Give she it wants. Her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. She doesn't want to be a walker. Look at her. Please give it to her. Do it. Then shoot her. We can't take the risk of her alive. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. That's rough, though. Oh, no. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? No, yeah. but, you know, it's... I wouldn't want her to turn into one. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Oh, God. That was a right? lot. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay, so. Okay. Are you okay, Glenn? How you doing? Want to do a check-in? You know. Back of the motor in. What's your next move? Um, back of the motor back in. Back of the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess, but that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Well, good. 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 That's kind of the energy it, you, you need. Know. You said give her the gun. I that's... know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. <laughs> I brought a couple to the Everett's a few times. Aww. Sorry. Uh, 
I mean the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I love having Glenn with us. You're a good dude for real. Oh, I didn't even... Central High Tech State. Paper's a week old. Feels like years. With everything we've been going through? Yeah. <laughs> Why would we try and give her a remote? I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries <laughs> won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Do I need to find her another one, maybe? Because I definitely found her one, and I'm just a little shocked that she can't do anything with it. But I don't know. I'll like double check one more time. We go this way. Oh, what's this? Oh, another battery. Ah! <laughs> there we go. Okay, I got another one. Okay, this so should no. be it. Should be able to get it to work now. Nice. Do you want to try? It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Girl, go ahead. Try everything again in order. There's no power. I mean, this isn't going to work, but I'll try it anyway. Get it backwards. As the unknown affliction continues to spread on the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full uh, uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Oh, my God. God bless you all. Well, that's kind of upsetting. That's your station, girl. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio. That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. Hmm. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. All right, then. We don't need to talk about it. Thanks. There's nothing I can do now, anyway. Yeah. Damn, okay. You know what? How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah, let's have a little bit of bonding time. Let's have a look around. Okay. Ooh, kind of scared. Jesus. There's so many of them. Ooh! Ew, that's so disgusting. It just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay. You know, a weird question I have is how long do walkers actually, oh my god, how long do walkers actually last or like live for? Because they eat and eat and eat, but like, can they just eat endlessly? And like, where's everything going in their system? You know, it just stays in them. 
Like... Oh, okay, we have a lot to do. Can't reach that brick. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Okay. There's a photo icon. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. Oh, is that his brother? And the photo worked here. The keys being on him. Some kind of relative. We could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Lee, seriously, you are handling this so well. Like, his whole family is here and dead or turned. I don't know. Can we do something with the remote? <laughs> Better start pointing the remote at everything. <laughs> Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. Well, you can just do that. Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AB. Damn. Let's try. He's smart for that. Well, fucking done, Doug. <laughs> well, that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Oh. Oh. I've got a few of them to take notice. Okay. But Damn. All right, I don't know. We can't reach that. I already tried that. So. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work. Definitely not. It's not even all covered. What could we talk to him about? How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. Huh. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, <laughs> just doing my own thing. What about you? Um, I'd just say we grew up here. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so. You probably knew the owners then? Very well. Yeah, I did. Good people. Alright, so... I don't know, the axe? Haven't tried to do anything with that. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Now to distract those things. Carefully. It's a little too open to my liking. There we go. Okay. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. Oh, damn. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, here we go. We can use the brick on this, apparently. Thank God he made it. <laughs> if that were me, I wouldn't have thrown it far enough. Yeah. Now's the time. Oh my God. Okay, we have to hurry though. I think I'm a little scared. Run, run. Faster! <laughs> Keep an eye out, will you? Please run. Oh my god, why are we walking? Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. Assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Why are you yelling? 
Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't there. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you are to take care of us. That's real. Oh my god. For their neck why can't we go for their actual head here what is happening there we go okay, we really have to hurry though oh god there we go Oh my god! See, like, now you really have to run, actually, Lee. Come on. We don't even have anything to actually close that with. We didn't even, we didn't think about that. Oh, no. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Okay, we're good. I don't think they're gonna get through the gate. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Okay. Oh, the silence for a second. That was kind of scary. <gasps> oh, no. Shit. Are you joking? Hurry. Why did it go off if we had a key to unlock it? I guess it's a thing where you have to set the alarm off when you when you go in there. Shoot. Oh, this is bad. Oh god. Oh my god. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up right back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Why is the camera jittering so much? Oh my god. I'll get back as fast as I can. It's adding to the suspense, I guess. Away from the windows. Oh my god, what do we what am I doing? Oh shit, okay. We don't make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. Oh! Can we not use your dad's cane, bro? Did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The window is screwed. Go. Oh my god. Whoa, hold on. Hold on. Oh my god. I found something. There we go. See, we're on the same wavelength. You go, Clem. Okay. You're not. You're not. Don't tell me. Oh my god. Oh my god, I have to do Carly. Wait. 
I'm trying to grab the purse. There we go. I'm sorry. I I think I just yeah. I'm sorry. Oh my god! They I'm running, I'm running! What? Why? I saved you! Are you joking? I'm gonna kill him. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Thank you. Especially a good friend. At first, I thought he was gonna hit me with the axe. It's kind of messed up. I'm gonna. That dude. I risked my life to get you pills, and you pull that. We're fighting. It's on site, guys. Oh my god. I hope I didn't make the wrong decision. I just like Carly has skill, and we spent more time with her, and like she's cool. Doug is really cool too, okay? And he has skill, but I don't know. I can't. I really, I don't know. Oh man, Clementine, that was so Oh man, who was that that we just heard? Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. What? To Atlanta. Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening here. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. No, <laughs> but I like Glenn. Damn. Well, I can't be the one to tell you what to do, so you gotta do what you gotta, you gotta do. do. What you gotta do. And I gotta do this. Yeah. I respect that. Okay. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. I hope we get to see him again. That would be kind of cool, actually. But damn. Shit happens <laughs> on the truck. That's funny. Damn, Glenn. Oh, I'm so sad. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier, I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. She is really strong. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. You never pay attention when you leave things. Check on Carly, I guess. just look over it. Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know, it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. 
Because he saved you, yeah. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway. It's so sad. Oh god. I understand. Wait, Lee? Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Girl, I don't even know the answer to that. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too. Me too, Carly. Me freaking too. Because now I feel terrible! Oh man! Duck is like way too excited right now. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. Watching you. You know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then? Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. Not like we have much to begin with. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. Stop and it! they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Or we could try and fix it. No, asshole. Let me go deal with this. I don't want to talk to you ever. Oh, man. Clementine. Another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? No. She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once, and so will everyone else. Can you just look over there? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Yeah, I really wish I didn't get those meds for you then. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Well, I got Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Why is the music changing? I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Uh, me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. I mean, I hope so. Freaking hope so. Oh! We lost power? Oh, no. No way. Next time on The Walking Dead. <gasps> Shoot, man. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Oh, snap. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take one! Oh, damn! There's too many of them! Ah! 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 You never liked my dad. Even back in the drugstore, we never thought Kenny's kid was fit. You went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. No more, please! Lee! Please! <laughs> what? 
that seems so intense. What the hell? That was like 10 bad things happening. Oh my God. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Wow. This game actually gives us the percentages. That's interesting. So me and 54% of players were honest. Um, who did you save, Duck or Sean? 52% of people chose Duck. It was kind of half. Um, loyalty, did we side with Kenny? 54% of people did. Did we give Irene the gun? 47 of us, or 47% of us did. That's interesting. Huh. Who would you save, Doug or Carly? 49% of players chose Carly. More people chose Doug. Oh, man. I feel, I feel really bad about that decision that wrecked me that wrecked me so bad okay oh uh, oh my god guys first thoughts all i'm gonna say i love it so far and all i'm going to say is i genuinely feel myself attached to the characters already at least lee and clementine like when they were talking to each other i felt like tears trying to bubble up especially her talking about her parents and how she wants to see them and how she lost her walkie-talkie which was her only way to communicate with her parents that got me at the very end. Um, and there were some stressful decisions in this episode, but I know it's only going to get more stressful from here. So I can't wait. And I just hope I don't mess it up. <laughs> but with that being said, thank you all so, so much for being here with me today. I hope you enjoyed the very first episode of Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 1. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that post notification bell to stay up to date on the rest of my last... Sorry last <laughs> the rest of my the walking dead uploads and my brain is getting scrambled but yeah as always i really hope to see you in the next video